We're facing a climate crisis that demands a sense of urgency and scale. And we have solutions available. President Trump made his wishes very clear in the rollback to the National Environmental Policy Act. You know, that those rollbacks are all about making sure that industry and, and commercial enterprises take precedent over people. Not just the environment, but people itself. The thought um, of continuing to bail out the fossil fuel industry, continuing to suppress the development of renewables, all of continuing to open up our, our precious national lands to development and to fossil fuel extraction. Um, he's literally doing everything the exact opposite of what we need when it comes to climate. We're all literally in this together on this planet and figuring out how we can help each other accelerate the implementation of climate solutions is really where we need to be focusing. All we're doing is running in place right now and moving backwards uh, at the same time, you know, and it's, it's just not how America works. People often are asking, what can I do to help? What can I do? And I think we've not done a great job of answering um, because the question is really what can we do together and like what are the special skills that you are going to be contributing to the collective and so helping people figure out you know are you a lawyer an artist um, a, a convener um, a writer a, a builder a designer what are you what is it that you want to contribute to this work and how can how can we help connect you to the work that needs doing? The big challenge, I think, is is not that people are fighting this anymore. It's just getting them to have faith that we can do something about it. It is rebuilding hope again. And I honor if there's one thing you always bring to the table, that's it. I hope that this is a moment uh, where people are figuring out how to match their skills to the work that needs doing, to the, to the hundreds of climate solutions that are out there, um, because we're in crisis and that's what we need is everyone bringing their best to the table. There's this um, very human desire to simplify all these things, like let's solve racism over here and climate over here and health over here um, and economy somewhere over here. And it just, it's never gonna work because these things are all connected. And so it's, it's sort of a weird way to think about it, but if we solve the complex problem, that will actually be easier than trying to solve simple problems. One of the reasons why climate is so important to think about is all those problems are exacerbated in a climate changed future. And the great Absolutely. thing about it is, the opportunistic thing, is that if you think through a climate lens, you can actually benefit all parts of that system. I don't care if you don't think Biden's climate plans are perfect. Um, they are infinitely better than Trump's. All of his environmental policies are getting stronger by the day. Um, and that's what we want to see. We want to see leaders who are listening and improving and really committed to making sure that people who live in the United States um, are protected from the impacts of climate change, from recessions, from public health crises, from racial injustice. We need to talk about why taking solutions we have on climate and applying them in the world today will advance our ability to have a stronger economy, more jobs, and bring people a healthier opportunity in communities and make them more equitable and just. So all those things are both a challenge but a wonderful opportunity right now.